So here's some secret op amp tips handed down by the masters from Shaky Hand Productions. So a lot of you have asked questions about this particular op amp configuration where we've chained two op amps together. And uh, some, of you, some of you have rightly pointed out that the feedback loop goes around these two op amps. Um, the intuitive thing to remember is that these two op amps, when they're chained together, uh, give you the open loop gain squared at this point times uh, Vn. And what it does is it allows you to, um, at least at DC, take an op amp with a low open loop gain, and maybe you, you need that, and essentially square it. Now, why is this so? Well, first we have V out squared equals the open loop gain squared times V minus at U1. That's the ultimate uh, thing that we were looking for. But how do we get there? Well, we've got three equations. V plus at U2 and V plus at U1 equals zero. That's fairly typical of our derivations. V out 2 equals the open loop gain times V plus U2 minus V out, but that's equal to zero. I'm just writing that in there. And for the second op amp, or, or the first one, V out equals the open loop gain times uh, zero minus V minus at U1. So we substitute all of these together and we get V out two equals the open loop gain squared times V minus U1. And that's equation four, okay? Where previously we'd get something like the open loop gain, uh, we'd get V out minus open loop gain not squared times V minus of U1. It still works, however. So now that we have that, we just go around uh, deriving it like we would normally do. Uh, we have I1 equals I2 at node V minus U1, right? Because this is an ideal op amp, no current can come in because Rn is infinity, okay? We write out the branch currents just like we would previously. Excuse me. And we set the branch currents equal to each other. Then we substitute V out two excuse me, to open loop gain squared times V minus U1 into seven. And we get this relationship. And then we go along further, and we just keep deriving and pushing terms around until we get the ratio of V minus U1 divided by Vn. And we notice that as the open loop gain goes towards infinity, which it most certainly will now that it's squared, this whole term, V minus at U1 divided by Vn, goes to zero. So V in is non-zero, right? It's our input. And V minus U1, that means v, U, v minus at U1 has to be zero. So the node voltage here, excuse me, that has to be zero. And the reason why it's zero is uh, we need also the feedback. So now that we have that at zero, V plus, V minuses, all the V pluses, all the V minuses, all equal zero. And we substitute that back into equation seven, where we now get V in divided by R1 equals minus V out divided by R2, solve for it, minus R2 over R1. And the way you can kind of think of it is when you chain these op amps together in this configuration, you kind of get one big op amp. And so if you're asked to derive, uh, you know, why these two voltage, these two nodes are equal to each other, yes, you need this full-blown derivation. But if you're doing the, the problems uh, that come later on in the exam, you can just kind of recognize this as one big op amp. And I hope that helps. Uh, good luck tomorrow.